Welcome to this episode of Gun Man. With so many spray guns on the market, I wouldn't be surprised if there's people out there who would be a little bit confused as to which spray gun you should buy. Now, as you can see here, I've got a hell of a lot of spray guns, and I'm gonna take you through each single one of my spray guns, the applications I use them for, and the reason for buying them. So hopefully, this can give you guys a bit more of an idea of which spray gun to buy, depending on what you want to use it for. So here we go. So first up, I'm going to be showing you guys the Anesta Iwata W400 Bellaria Classic Plus. It comes with a 1.3mm fluid tip on it and LV LP technology air cap. As you can see here, it's a good looking gun. Um, it's a top quality gun. It's capable of achieving top quality results and it will last a lifetime. Um, you can see here, because it's LV LP, the size of the holes either size, side of that air cap are not too big so it isn't a big air consumer so if you've got sort of a mid-size compressor and you're doing some jobs at home yet you want a good quality spray gun this could be the right gun for you um, next up I'm going to be showing you guys the uh, new century star s4000 evo spray gun now I'm actually yet to use this spray gun so I can't really give you guys an, a total idea of how it sprays however it's cheap I got this one for $150 I bought it for the sole purpose of reviewing, I'm just yet to review it. 1.4 mil uh, fluid tip on it, and it's got conventional air cap on it. You can see the size of those holes either side, they're a slight bit bigger than the uh, LV LP. Um, next up, I'll be showing you guys my new favorite gun, actually, which is the Devilbus SGK 600 BV is the model. Uh, this gun is also known in other parts of the world as a FLG5. I'm pretty sure in the US it's an FLG5. So if you want to get one of these guns, I got this one for $200. Top quality gun. You can use this workshop environment, backyarder, anything. So you see it's a conventional air cut. Um, I'll just tell you guys to have a look at the size of the holes on each one of these air caps and that's how you'll be able to uh, figure out whether or not it's HVLP, LVLP or conventional. Next up is my mini gun that I've been using. I'm really happy with the way this gun's actually been performing. It's a star gun. Um, Evo T is the model number. It comes with a 1.2mm fluid tip on it, so it gets a nice amount of fluid out, yet it doesn't have too much overspray. If you have a look at the air cap, it's quite small. Um, it's perfect for a DIY hobby type guy. If all you do is ever paint petrol tanks off motorbikes, helmets, just a little stuff here and there, just like that. I'd probably uh, point you in the direction of this spray gun. Um, Star have also stepped up their quality of uh, spray guns. Well, I'm not sure if they're getting better or there's just more bad guns out there now, but who knows. Next up, I'm going to give you guys a quick look at compressors. Look at that small one. That would run a um, airbrush or maybe that minigun too. Mid-size, that would run LVLP. The biggest size should run a HVLP. And if we have a look at this next picture here, this kind of a compressor, if it looks like that, well then that should be able to do resprays. That should just about run a whole workshop. Um, look, I'm going to do a bit more research, go down to the shops, ask them about it. That's all I'm going to include in this video. But um, we're going to continue on with the spray guns now. This gun here, if you ever see any mini gun that looks like that, it's total garbage, throw it out. After I made this video, I ended up actually throwing that gun out. I don't even know why I kept it for so long. I bought this gun off eBay. Yep, it was cheap. It might have cost $20, but it was $20. I may as well have just thrown down the drain. It's total garbage. Um, same with this gun here. If you ever see a gun that looks like this, if you find, you know, you think, oh, I'll give a cheap gun a go, that is total garbage. It lasts about two weeks. I sent the first one back because the air valve was stuffed. The second one finally actually worked. It lasted two weeks, and then uh, it just the air cap just stopped spraying. Again, after this video, I threw that gun out. I don't even know why I held on to it, to be honest. Um, so next up, this mini gun is actually quite a good... It performs quite well. Um, I bought this off my tradesman who decided that he didn't want it anymore. He bought it and didn't, never used it. I said, mate, I'll have it. He gave it to me for $70. That was over 12 years ago now, and it's still going strong. You see, now it's actually... Um, PBS is a brand. It's been turned into my little um, black gun. So if I ever need to put a bit of chassis black underneath the um, wheel arch, if I've got a bit of overspray there, this thing does a job. So I'm yet to see any other spray gun with that name on it, the branding but 
there you go. It's served me quite well over the years. Um, next up, I'll be giving you a look at my Devilbus GTI, the original GTI. So this gun was my first spray gun I ever bought. It served me very well. I do have a review and demonstration on this gun. If you'd like to see that, be sure to check through my um, uh, other videos. Now this gun is known in America. I'm pretty sure it's the Devilbus Plus guns or the Millennium guns, one of the two. Um, so next up, um, this is for polyester filler. Now this has got a 2.8 mil uh, fluid needle on it, fluid tip on it, sorry, and it just pumps it on. You have a look at the uh, size of the hole where the paint comes out, massive. Would not use this for anything but polyester spray filler. Um, only reason we bought it was to uh, use that polyester spray filler. I do have a review and demo on that gun if you'd like to check that one out too. Another gun here, Air Gunza AZ-3 HTE-2. And SDI Wada uh, is, own, owns this um, spray gun company. Um, I do also have a review and demo on this gun. It's got a 1.8mm fluid needle on it, fluid tip, and it's a uh, conventional spray gun. Um, it's a top quality gun. I use it every day for primer. Um, it's, it lasts, you know, costs about $180. If you wanted to use uh, a gun for primer, I'd recommend you grab one of these. Um, so here we go. Next up is the Big Daddy, uh, the grandfather of spray guns, if you ask me. Um, so there you go. It's the Devilbus GTI Pro Lite. Now, great thing about these guns is the um, durability, the weight, just about everything. They tick all the boxes for me. They're not overly expensive, you know, sort of around the four to five hundred dollar mark, depending on which one you get, which um, air caps and stuff like that they come with. There's three different air caps to choose from. LVLP, HVLP, and uh, conventional, so you can choose anything, and they change back over onto the one gun, and um, yeah, they're just totally great gun. Um, um, that's uh, one of the other air caps that it comes with, you can see here. Um, they range from about $100 for the extra, uh, extra air cap, so this one here is the LVLP, you can see either side there the holes there are slightly smaller now I did end up slowing the footage down in this it turned out that I was speaking at a hundred miles an hour to try and keep up with the uh, footage so I slowed it down as you've obviously probably noticed um, and this is basically the little baby of the um, GTI Pro Lite so this one was um, around first a little bit heavier but to be honest I find they spray very similar to the Pro Lite um, the air caps actually do fit from the Pro Lite to the GTI Pro. Those guns are known in the US as the Tecna and the Tecna Pro Lite. So exactly the same gun, just branded differently. Next up, um, this is a gun that I actually bought with this workshop that I'm in at my at, at the moment, my own workshop. It's the old Devilbus um, PRI. Now they've got a newer model, which is the PRI PRO. So it's a Pro Primer gun. Um, and that's got a 1.8 mil on it. It does a good job. Um, it's very good quality. However, I just don't use it. This gun is a total rip-off, fake uh, copy to Vilbus. You probably notice they look very the same. Um, don't buy it. This gun just happened to be in the workshop, so I thought I'd include it in my video. But I really recommend not buying it. You, you're not buying good quality. Total rip-off. They leak. Uh, they won't last. Um, don't even waste your money on one of them things. And, um, yeah, so that... That's another GTI there. I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a look over the guns. Um, and there's also a airbrush that you'll have a look at there. You only need a tiny compressor. Just a tiny little thing to run one of them. Um, yeah, if you guys have got any questions, be sure to um, shoot them in the comments box down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. I am a very busy man. I'm always busy trying to make new videos with all these uh, requests that I get. Um, I'll do my best to help you guys out and we'll be finishing off with a quick look at my little airbrush, which is a Anest Iwata Neo. Um, it's a trigger action, dual action airbrush. To be honest, I'm not really happy with it. I'm actually, I've already bought a new one. It's on the way from the States. It's a Devilbus Dagger airbrush. Um, I find this thing, it builds up, I get paint build up in the air cap of it. And then if I'm not careful, that'll just go and splatter all over the 
stuff that I'm doing. Now I'm new to airbrushes, hey, I could be doing something wrong with it, um, but I've done everything I can think of to get it to work properly, it's just, um, I'm not too happy with it. So there's a couple more sp uh, specific spray gun reviews and demos at the end here. Make sure you check them out if you haven't already seen them. Thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.